This is going to be a Java interview question, and we're going to talk about uh, reversing an integer. So I'm going to create a new class here. I'm just going to say reverse int. And what am I doing here exactly? So when I say integer, I say I I'm talking about something like this uh, int x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And the reverse of that would be 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, right? So we just want to come up with a pretty quick program that will uh, just reverse this completely. And um, what about zeros? Let's think about zeros. So y equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 0. Uh, what is the reverse of that? Should be 4, 3, 2, 1, right? Because the leading zero won't make any sense in an integer. Okay, so let's think about how we're going to do this. Um, starting off, let's try this in a terminal here. I've got a node console up here, and what we can do is say var x equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and whoops, forgot to start the node console. Uh, var x, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right. So x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. How can we get the last digit off of there? Um, I'm thinking we're going to do something like take the last digit off and reverse it so the last digit goes into the front of the integer. So how do we get the last digit off? Uh, it's actually pretty simple. You can do x modulo 10, and you'll get that last digit. And then if you want to get to the next digit, you say x equals uh, math.floor and this is something I have to do in JavaScript because JavaScript doesn't have uh, any distinction between integers and um, floating point numbers uh, in, in terms of types right now I'd have to do math.floor to do this so I'm going to divide by 10 to get to the next one and then I say that and then I get the next one so we'll make a loop that'll do this um, and now the trick though is how do we how do we get um, how do we reverse that though? We can get the digits one by one, but how are we going to reverse it? And you might be thinking, um, yeah, we can we can append it to a string and then cast the string into an integer. That also seems bad to me though. That seems pretty slow. So there is one thing I think we can do though. I think we can take the logarithm to get the size. So the logarithm of this should be log base 10 should be 4. So that'll kind of get us some... Um, I think that'll get us in the right ballpark of what we want. So um, let's uh, let's get started here. I'm gonna make a public static int. Call it reverse uh, int x. That'll be the input. Um, let's think about this now. What do we want to do? Basically, we want to loop through this, and we want to go digit by digit from the end of it, we want to uh, add that into the reverse, right? And we also need to get the length. So first, let's get the size of uh, x. And when I say size, I mean if x is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, the size will be 5, right? And if x is, uh, let's do another one, let's do 6, 7, 8, or 6, 7, 9, all right? So the reversed will be 679, and the size will be 3. That's what I'm talking about when I say size. Let's make one more function. Let's say public static int get size. OK, int x. And Fortunately, in Java, there's something called uh, math.log10. So we can do math.log10, and I can pass that um, x right in there. And we're going to have to do one other thing. We've got to do math.floor. Not floor div, just floor. There we go. So just to test this out, uh, let's see if this will work. Um, get size of 
x. Let's see what that gives us. Four seems good. How about how about z? Should be two, right? So that's fine. We can we can work with that. That gives us size two. That gives us size four. So that's fine. We could do plus one, but I don't think we need to do that because we're going to take it to the power. So uh, for what I'm thinking, that'll work. All right. So first, let's get the length. Or we'll call it size. Be consistent here. That'll be the size of the integer. And then we'll start with another integer we'll call it reverse. This is what we're going to reverse the number into. And I think we'll do a while loop. Uh, we'll say while x is greater than 0. And we'll just divide by 10, divide by 10, divide by 10 until it's 0. We'll just keep doing what we were doing here. Keep dividing by 10. So let's say int. last digit is obviously going to be x modulo 10, right? That'll get that last digit for us in there. So we'll get the 5, then we'll get the 4, then we'll get the 3. All right. And the next thing we want to do is say x equals x divided by 10. Now, this didn't work in JavaScript, but it will work in Java because this knows it's an integer data type, and when we assign that to an integer, it'll truncate it for us. So there will be no floating point part of that. So the next thing we need to do is do something with the reversed. And I'm thinking we want to add something onto this, right? We So if so if x if x was 5 and size was 4 we want to add something like 5 50,000 right so how do we do this and the answer is you're going to multiply the last digit times and we're going to do math.power. Math.power returns a double, so I'm casting it into an integer. And we're going to do 10 to the size. And here's the trick. We're going to have to do an iterator. The problem is we want this to shrink. So on the next iteration, if x was 4, then size is actually 3, right? Because we'll have divided by 10. And we could call get size again, but we don't have to. We can just keep track of an iterator. And if we iterate, I know we've got a while loop, but we can use an iterator here we can add one and we can say minus iter so let's try this out let's see let's see if this did what I think it would do magic alright I'm gonna print out a few more make sure this is working Try Z. Looks good. Looks like it's working. Let's throw a debugger in here and see what it does. So, right now we're in reverse. Reverse got called from X. So, uh, X was uh, 1, 2, 3, or 5. Yep, 1, 2, 3, or 5. It's going to get the size. So it's 
So I'm gonna I'm gonna start heading F6 is what I'm gonna do. I'm just stepping over. Size is four. Get those those uh, variables set up there. Uh, last digit we're gonna get a five. We modulo it by ten. X just got divided by five, so now X is gonna be one two three four. And here's the tricky part. We've got that size minus zero on this one. And what will this be? Or let's make this so that uh, it's a little bit more visible here. Um, I'm going to clean these up. We'll say math.pow 10 size iter. 10,000. Great. So that's good. Now, what is math.pow 10 size iter? minus iter times last digit 50,000 perfect so this is going to give us exactly what we want this is going to give us the front part of the number and then we'll add on the next decimal place and then we'll add on the next decimal place after that and then after that and after that so let's keep going I'm going to hit keep hitting F6 and reversed is the first digit is done now we go into the next iteration got a four and now it's one two three and now that next digit is reversed on there because this dropped down to one thousand and then we got four thousand we added that onto a reverse number let's keep going let's go all the way through it we've got a three now we've got one two here finally we've got a one hundred three times one hundred is three hundred and our reverse gets appended to, or it gets added to, 543. Okay, we got a two. And then finally, there's only one digit left. So 10 times two is 20. And we got that 54320 now. And finally, we're gonna do the last digit which is a one and now X is zero so this loop will terminate so we've got the one and we're gonna add the one and finally five four three two one reversed completely so I'm gonna remove this breakpoint continue playing we'll go back to the other view and there we are. So that is reversing an integer in Java. And that's a, one of the uh, interview questions that I think we're going to go over in this, uh, this video series. Thanks for watching.